Okay, now we've got IELTS listening part 4 and we are going to solve this test. In part 4, mostly you get one word only. In part 4, there is always a lecture or a presentation delivered by one person. So that is why part 4 is a bit faster. Well, there is a handout in our class WhatsApp group and the title of the handout is Sign Post Language. You should go through that. In part 4, you can catch the audio properly if you use sign post language. What is sign post language? First of all, let's start the lecture with, I would like to discuss so you can understand how they are going on, right? So you should go through that handout, only three to four pages, and you can learn all these phrases. And those phrases will help you in your IELTS writing as well as IELTS speaking module, especially when you speak on cue card for one to two minutes. So that is going to help you there. Okay, now the title, it's one word only, no number, nothing else. And the title is maple syrup. If you don't understand maple, you understand maple leaf. Maple leaf, I think on Canadian flag, they have maple leaf. So maple syrup is syrup that comes out from maple tree, right? It's just like a syrup like you have, karshi, jameshiri and all that stuff, okay? Yeah. Now, what is maple syrup? And there are some bullet points. And these bullet points are confusing in this test. Let me tell you one thing. You don't know whether the bullet points are going to move from top to bottom or from left to right. So you got to be very careful. In the first bullet point, they use the word sap. So when they talk about sap, it means they are there. In the second bullet point, they use the word cooking. So if they talk about cooking, it means they are discussing. And you should know that. This is what I call signposting. When they give you one minute to read the questions, underline some important words, and then you will never miss the audio. Otherwise, in part four, missing the audio is very common. Then you will look around what others are doing. And if you look around, your test will be cancelled. Okay, question number 31 is about color. When they talk about color described as... Now, color described as means answer is going to be a color. Color described as yellow, as green, as orange. So, answer is the color. Okay, whose color? Maple leaf, maple syrup. The color of maple syrup. You will hear a presentation by a food science student about the production of maple syrup. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to look at another natural food product, and that's maple syrup. What is this exactly? Well, maple syrup looks rather like clear honey, but it's not made by bees. It's produced from the plant fluid, or sap, inside the maple tree, and that makes maple syrup a very natural product. Maple syrup is a thick, golden, sweet-tasting liquid that can be bought in bottles or jars and poured onto food such as waffles and ice cream. Or okay, so color described as golden. Now remember, gold is metal and golden is color. Okay, so correct answer is golden, like jolden. In Arabic, they say jolden. When I was in Dubai, uh, we stayed in an apartment block. The name was Golden Gulf. And in Arabic, it was written Jolden Jalf. And I used to read every time Jolden Jalf. Jolden Jalf. So, correct answer is golden. You understand now? Gold is metal and golden is color. Exactly. Okay, question number 32. Very dash compared to refined sugar. Now, when we are comparing it with refined sugar, how is sugar? Sugar is sweet. So, maybe very sweet compared to refined sugar, okay? Or any other thing. It can be sweet or any other thing. And one more thing. You need to see the synonym of very. For that, they can say it's extremely sweet when it is compared to refined sugar. Extremely, very, too much, like that. It contains no preservatives or added ingredients, and it provides a healthy alternative to refined sugar. It provides a healthy alternative to refined sugar. So very healthy compared to refined sugar. For compared, they use the word alternative, right? So correct answer is healthy. 
I will share this test with you. You should repeat it, especially the parts which you find difficult. You can repeat them. Then there is question number 33. And you see there is a long detail. So it means you need to have patience also in part 3. You need to have patience. You will see you are not writing anything. And an intelligent guy sitting there or there in actual exam is writing something. And then you will say, why is he writing? It means I'm missing any answer. Don't worry. Okay. There are many dummies in actual IELTS test. So don't follow anybody. Okay. Just follow your own thing. Now, can you see 1964? Encircle that. Can you see species? Encircle species. Can you see sunny days? So when they talk about sunny days, they are there. Can you see moist soil? Okay. So, I mean, just one word. And this word will tell you where the audio is. And when they say best growing conditions and dash are in Canada and North America. Now, listen, this question comes with an end. Whenever there is a question with an end, it means answer will come with the synonym of growing conditions. For conditions, for growing condition, best growing conditions, they can use the word right circumstances. And for and, they may use the word as well as. Or they can use the word and. Now right answer will come with best growing conditions and they are in Canada and North America. Let's just talk a bit about the maple tree itself, which is where maple syrup comes from. So there are many species of maple tree and they'll grow without fertilizer in areas where there's plenty of moisture in the soil. However, they'll only do this if another important criterion is fulfilled, which is that they must have full or partial sun exposure during the day and very cool nights. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. There are only certain parts of the world that provide all these conditions. One is Canada. And by that, I mean all parts of Canada. And the other is the northeastern states of North America. In these areas, the climate suits the trees perfectly. In okay. The climate suits the tree perfectly. So best growing conditions and climate are in Canada and all that. And have you noticed they actually went on in, in any way. Like for example, first they talked about species, then they talked about moist soil, then they talked about sunny days, and after 33 they will talk about 1964. So if you do not signpost, signpost means encircle one word which they will not change. And usually where there is no question, they don't change the word. Where there is a question, they are moth parati and they change the words. Okay? Yeah. Question number 34. Early maple sugar procedures. First underline holes. And then used hot dash to heat the sap. Now hot dash. Right? It can be hot water to heat the sap. So whatever they use the word hot. Or instead of hot they can use the word warm. Hot, warm. Right? Something to heat the sap. And then underline the word bark. Can you see the word bark? And then you can underline the word food and drink. So that you know where answer is. So sap and heat. Keep that in mind. Sap and heat. Okay. So please listen to it again. Question number 34. So how did maple syrup production begin? Well, long before Europeans settled in these parts of the world, the indigenous communities had started producing maple sugar. They bored holes in the trunks of maple trees and used containers made of tree bark to collect the liquid sap as it poured out. As they were unable to keep the liquid for any length of time, they didn't have storage facilities in those days. They boiled the liquid by placing pieces of rock that had become scorching hot from the sun into the sap. Okay. They boiled the liquid. How? By using the scorching hot rocks. Now answer is not liquid. Liquid was boiled as a result of scorching hot rocks. Please listen to this part again. 
he barked to collect the liquid sap as it poured out. As they were unable to keep the liquid for any length of time, they didn't have storage facilities in those days. They boiled the liquid by placing pieces of rock that had become scorching hot from. They boiled the liquid by the pieces of rock that had been scorching hot. So used hot rock to heat the sap. For sap, they used the word liquid. Okay, correct answer is rocks or rock. Okay. Okay, question number thirty-five. Today's maple syrup, the tree, tree trunks may not have the correct dash. Underline the word correct dash until they have been growing for forty years. So they do not have correct. Correct what? For correct, they may use the word right. Okay, for example, if answer is uh, size, they can say correct size, right size, un until they reach the size of three feet. Now, three feet size is the correct size, so they may use anything for that, right? So, tree trunks may not have the correct dash until they have been growing for forty years. It means the tree grows for forty years, then it has something correct, and then they get it. So. Let's look at the production of maple syrup today. Clearly, the maple forests are a valuable resource in many Canadian and North American communities. The trees have to be well looked after, and they cannot be used to make syrup until the trunks reach a diameter of around twenty-five centimeters. Diameter This... of twenty-five centimeters. So, answer is diameter and. Twenty-five centimeters means correct. Correct diameter, twenty-five centimeter. How do you spell diameter? D i a m e t e r. Diameter or diameter. Okay. Now there is a question about production, and the clue word is tap. A tap is drilled. Tap, you know, it's tooty. Yeah. A tap is drilled into the trunk. And a dash carries the sap into the bucket. Now imagine there is a there is a tap. Okay, they drill the tap, and something carries the sap into a bucket. Imagine a tap, and then something carries the sap, and then they have a bucket. Okay, so let's see what carries the sap into the bucket. When the tree is ready, it can be tapped. And this involves drilling a small hole into the trunk and inserting a tube into it that ends in a bucket. Okay, inserting a tube into it that ends in a bucket, and this tube is like water pipe. Okay, so correct answer is tube. Okay, don't write YouTube, only write tube. Yeah. Question number thirty-seven. Large pans of sap called evaporators. Are heated by means of a dash. Now, heated by means of means how do they heat them? By means of means what is the source that they use to heat? Okay. The trees can often take several taps, though the workers take care not to cause any damage to the healthy growth of the tree itself. The sap that comes out of the trees consists of ninety-eight percent water. And two percent sugar and other nutrients. It has to be boiled so that much of that water evaporates, and this process has to take place immediately using what are called evaporators.、Okay. These are basically extremely large pans. The sap is poured into these. A fire is built, and the pans are then heated until the sap boils. Okay, evaporators is already written there. So evaporators are heated by means of fire. Evaporators are heated by means of fire. Please listen to it again from here. That much of that water evaporates, and this process has to take place immediately using what are called evaporators. Okay, using what it called evaporators, large pans of sap called evaporators. Now, how do they? What do they use with evaporators? These are basically extremely large pans. The sap is poured into these. 
A fire is built and the pans are then heated until. Okay, a fire is built and the pans are heated. So pans are heated by means of fire. Fire is the right answer. A lot of dash is produced during the evaporation process. Lot of. Underline the word lot of. For that, they may use the word large quantity, huge quantity of something is produced during the evaporation process. As it does this, the water evaporates and the syrup begins to form. The evaporation process creates large quantities of steam, and the sap becomes thicker and denser. And okay, large quantities of steam. S T E A M. Steam. Large quantities of steam. So correct answer is steam. Okay, let's go on. Question number thirty-nine. Sugar sand is removed because it makes the syrup look. Now makes the syrup look. It means the look of syrup and affects the taste. So sugar sand is removed because it makes the syrup look something. It's all about the look of the syrup. After this process, something called sugar sand has to be filtered out. As this builds up during the boiling and gives the syrup a cloudy appearance and a slightly gritty okay. taste. Okay, gives the syrup a cloudy appearance. For look, they commonly use the word appearance. Okay, cloudy appearance. So syrup look cloudy. All right. Then we've got last question. A huge quantity of sap is needed to make a. A means answer is countable. To make a dash of maple syrup, right? To make a a means it is countable. For example, to make a gallon, to make a gallon of maple syrup, huge quantity of sap is needed. Once this has been done, the syrup is ready to be packaged so that it can be used for a whole variety of products. It takes forty liters of sap to produce one liter of maple syrup, so you can get an idea of how much is needed. Okay, forty liters of sap. What does it mean? Huge quantity. For huge quantity, they use the word forty liters to make one liter. Now, what is the answer? Liter, liter because R is already written. And how do you spell liter? L I T. R E or E R both are correct because one is British spelling, one is American spelling, so they accept both spelling in IELTS. Liter can be written as L I T E R or L I T R E. Okay, and there is another liter, L I T T E R. That is garbage, liter, trash, liter, and all that. Okay, that's it.